Because I spent my entire summer creating video content for my courses, I did not want them to go to waste. So I embedded all my YouTube videos inside my Canvas course using Canvas Studio just as an extra resource and as a way to track my students. And to my surprise, all the closed captionings were missing. And that's not what I want. I want every video to be accessible. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I will be showing you the most easiest way to create closed captions for your YouTube videos that are inside your Canvas Studio. And I will also be showing you the difference between using Canvas Studio and embedding your YouTube videos directly into your Canvas. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here I am on my Canvas course shell. It's a sandbox I used to play and learn Canvas. I'm going to go ahead and create a new page. You can use the same method if you're creating an announcement because you see the same interface. I'm going to go ahead and name the page as sample closed captioning. I'm going to embed my video using Canvas Studio so you can see the difference. So I'm going to click on this little studio icon and I am going to embed the first video that I see. OK, this is the one. I do want to display all the media tabs. So I'm going to click embed and I'm going to click save. The reason I use Canvas Studio is because I can track my students and my students can collaborate inside the Canvas course shell. So here is the video and here I have the comments. Students can comment right here. All the collaboration is going to be inside Canvas and it notifies me right away if students have any questions. And also the insights. The insights tell me how long the student has watched the video and when the student has commented. But now let's go ahead and look at the video here. I do not have an option for closed captions. So when I click on the settings here, I don't see a closed captioning option at all. But I do have an option to upload my captions. So let me click on captions here. And here you can see it says upload in English, Arabic and all these different languages. So to upload your closed captions, the most easiest way is to go to your YouTube studio. So here is my YouTube studio and let me look for that particular problem. So here is my problem. I'm going to problem video. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And this is the page that you get. Again, this is not a monetized channel. This is just for my education purposes. So all my education videos are absolutely free. I don't monetize them. And here is my subtitle. So once the, the YouTube studio opens up where you can edit your video, click on your subtitles here. And as you can see, it will ask you to select a language. So let me go ahead, scroll down and select. You can select whatever language you want, but I'm going to go ahead and select English and I'm going to confirm. And as soon as I click confirm here, I have my subtitles published already. But let me go ahead and click on them just to make sure they are the right ones. As you can see, I have the entire uh, closed captions available. I highly recommend giving it a quick look to see if there's any spelling mistakes or pronunciations because I do have a problem with my accent. I always check and cross check. This one looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and publish it. So once that is published, you can see that I have a new edited um, subtitles and here you see these three ellipses. So when I click on these ellipses, I do have an option to download. So let me go ahead and download it and I'm going to download as SRT file. So I'm going to click SRT file and it has downloaded in my download folders. Once that's done, let me go back to my canvas and here I'm going to click English and I'm going to upload. So let me do that again. Here I'm on my Canvas uh, Studio here, Canvas page. I'm going to click on English to upload my video file. I'm going to my download buttons where my YouTube file has been downloaded. Let me go all the way down. Here is my captions. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to upload. And then your closed captions have automatically been uploaded. How do I know? When I click on the settings here, now I do have a captions option. So let me go ahead and turn this to English. And let me play the video. 
And as you can see, the captions are coming right here on top of the video. So that's the most easiest way to download your closed captions from YouTube and upload inside your canvas. Now let's go ahead and see the difference between embedding a YouTube link inside canvas without using your studio. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this, click on edit. And while I'm still on this page, just to show you the difference, I'm going to click on the YouTube link right here or YouTube icon right here. Let me go back and do that again. I'm going to click on this YouTube icon right here. I'm going to paste my YouTube link, click enter. And here I have an option. I'm going to click on this arrow because I want it to be embedded as a medium width and length. And I'm going to click save. So on the left hand side is the one that I used using studio, the one that I embedded using my canvas studio. Here I have insights, captions, and I have comments, everything here. But on the right hand side, I embedded using a YouTube link. So you see that I don't have any of those options. If my students have to watch this video, yes, they can. And they also have a closed captioning option here. I don't have to download and upload. But the difference here is when you embed using YouTube link, you will not have all these functionalities where students can comment. You can check who watched the video and also have a detailed description of your video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned the difference between embedding and using Canvas Studio along with uploading your closed captions. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because you and me both know that they are educators who are typing in their closed captions just to make those videos accessible. Did you know we now have a Facebook page where you can connect with me and exchange educational thoughts? please leave a comment in the comment section below so that I can read and improve myself. Don't forget to let me know how you use Canvas in your classes. And please don't forget to check out the interactive PowerPoint playlist and other playlists that I will be leaving in the description box below. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.